what's up there, YouTube? I don't know if we got anybody watching yet, but we are gonna put together this stupid fucking container. Yo, what's up, everybody? Well, uh, what this is, is, is the passenger side step to, uh, this also covers all the, the DPF system. And, uh, you know, as usual, shit gets all fucked up. So we have to put this back together. So let's bumble our way, bumble fuckery through there. Uh, one of the drivers caught it on a scale, so uh, I am just putting this back together here uh, for uh, in the future. It off the they ripped it off the fucking truck so I finally got all the parts to put it back together. Can't let me fucking move ya. You guys are enjoying the day off. Uh, well, in the trucking business, I don't get no days off. Uh, you know, I gotta do shit like this. Okay, um, that is not gonna work. So we gotta. I think it's gonna go this way. Yeah, the longer piece is up there. Alright, let me figure out how to hold this up here. Ah, let's see if we can do this. Yeah, buddy! Yeah, buddy! So it must go on the short side to the top. Yeah, there we go. Alright, sorry guys, uh, it's kind of hard to do this live while I'm trying to move all around and shit. But I thought it'd just be fun uh, to put this box together. Plus you get to see the use of these bad motherfuckers. Uh, this is aluminum. I'm just using stainless nuts and washers. Uh, the factory has it put together with, uh, what do you call that shit? Puck bolts, and uh, this motherfucker is not buying a puck gun. Uh, just to let you know, I'm not buying a $2,500 puck gun to build this once. 
So I decided to build it out of, uh, I got button heads. I think that this looks about the cleanest uh, system here. And they also have it to where uh, you cannot, uh, you know, like, uh, they don't sell this as a whole fucking unit. You got to put it together. This whole unit's 1900 bucks for this goddamn thing, just to let you guys know. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sell you good news. I've been using the fuck out of them, to be honest with you. So, I mean, it is what it is, but, uh, This is gonna, I think it's gonna be pull up. Yeah, I had to go buy these. I didn't have stainless bolts. Uh, I had a I had met I had metric ones, but they're they're black oxide and I didn't want that. I thought it would look like shit. You know, I'm using the stool as a thing, and then we have to put uh, these brackets on. Let me see if I can get you guys angled down here. So, we gotta put these brackets on uh, right here, and I do believe they go on the outside. Bob asked a good question. Why am I putting this Together, Bob, why am I replacing it? Uh, because I'll show you a video. Uh, I'll show you a video on this later. Uh, the driver got caught in the sail and uh, food barred this motherfucker. Been an old shit. And you can't have a truck with 3,000 miles on it looking like. Uh, somebody chewed on it. I'm just not that way. So uh, I'm going to fix this. But I thought this was going to be a lot more difficult to put together, but uh, it seems pretty easy. You know? So I had to go to fast and all, you know, like fuck. Yeah, nobody, nobody's getting your safety car. Now, safety bonuses will be few and far between. So, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, like, you can't take shit out of people's pay. They get all fucking pissed off, you know. Nobody offered to pay for it. They're like, ah, 
you know, Justin ain't got enough shit to do. I know what we'll do. We'll add this on to it. So, you know how it is, guys. You know how it is. You know, it takes so long to bolt all this shit. Yeah, bolt all this shit together. Let's take a look at this. So we got all that. Now what we'll do is we'll pop this up here. And we gotta put one more part on. We gotta put this in. Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Uh, I'm putting it on truck number JST6 later in the weekend. I'm just building this box. All right, let's get some nuts and bolts out here. Because this thing is only held on by four bolts, but I got to replace the bracket too. I will, I'll shoot a video on the rest of it and explain why we're doing this. Do, 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 do. Uh, the driver tore the step off last week. That was the last week thing. It takes a, uh, you know, Peterbilt, it's uh, another form of uh, what the fuck? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. I'm gonna tell you what Peterbilt stands for. Uh, that basically means uh, we have no auto parts in this store. It's almost as bad as Napa, not quite. Let me, uh, let me figure out how to get this, how to figure out how to get this one in there. Hee! We're going to need an alignment bar. Uh, because they don't have air in the back of them. You know, you don't, you don't pull a trailer. That's why you don't touch them.
if we can. Yeah, no, one more fly. Something ain't right here. Jesus fuck. New impacts suck. Our new impact wrenches suck. This aluminum is saved. Loosen this up. They don't have the sliders on there the right way because this. They can't go on the inside of that. Go on the outside. That's all the way over, all the way over, all the way over. Fuck. Yeah, trucks make big bucks, but uh, they cost a fucking shit ton to fix them. Like, my employees think that I'm rich, to be honest with you. Hmm. That's never going to go in there. All right. Let's see if we can loosen these up. See if I can get one in there. Alright. Uh, this is not going as planned. I wonder if there's a forward and back to this. Let me let me try that. I have a feeling there's something wrong here. See, cross threads are better than no threads, fellas. Aha! Uh -huh. It's fucking directional! Go the fuck figure. Go the fuck. Who in the fuck? Directional. The fuck. Look at that. Ha! Huh. Hope we all learned something. Fucking directional. Who in the fuck would guess that? Look at that. In there, like motherfucking swimwear now. Now we're cooking with gas. Look at that. You would have guessed.
Fixed. Look at that. I am excellent on this camera work, boys. side Peterbilt step fixed. Now all we gotta do is uh, put it on the fucking truck eventually whenever we get to that. It's time for an air conditioning and a Mountain Dew. Hold on here. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey, JC. Hey, Marco. What's going on? Yeah, buddy. Really need that Mountain Dew sponsorship to come in. You know, really need that. Really need that. See, there's all the, there's all the impacts. Yo, what's up? All right, well, that was fun putting the box together, wasn't it? You know, fuck. What's everybody doing on a, on this Thursday? Let's see here. Oh. What's up? Yeah, that was fun. You know what I'm saying? That was exciting. You're at Twin Peaks eating? Why in the fuck aren't you going live from Twin Peaks? I'm gonna tell you right now, I would go live from Twin Peaks if there was, uh, you know, a Twin Peaks around here. That's what somebody needs to be doing, going live from Twin Peaks, fuck. Marco, here's a question, okay? Now, I don't know if everybody knows what the fucking Twin Peaks are, but why is it that every girl works at Twin Peaks has a body, uh, has a goddamn stomach, back, lower body fucking tattoo. They, every one of them, every fucking waitress there has a lower body fucking tattoo. Like on her side of her, like she'll have some writing or some bullshit on her rib cage. They'll have a star. You know what I'm talking about, these DBSs. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why every one of them at Twin Peaks has that. I, I haven't figured it out. I think it's a job requirement. No, I'm not working with the wife today. I'm working by myself as usual. I got some pretty cool stuff coming up, though. Yeah, JC. No, I was just asking, you know, like, why every chick there has it. But uh, I'm not into... Hold on here. Yeah, they said they needed him for one more load cleanup, and then he was supposed to go over there. I don't know. The guy that I got driving this truck sometimes... Doesn't know how to plan. Yeah, nursing. God damn it. Hold on, I gotta go call somebody. I'll be back in a second. What the fuck, Jim?
All right, Jesus Christ, you know, I got to fix everybody else's fucking problems. <sighs> no, no, no driver died. I'm just trying to figure out. I had a driver say, hey, man, I'm not going to be at this job all day. He thought it was two quick loads. Well, it's turned into one o'clock, so I call and find him something else to do, and now he's got. Now he's gonna be there all goddamn day, and it's like, dude, you don't know how to plan. Like, ugh, ugh, ridiculous. I'm hoping we're having an okay week. I'm hoping that uh, it doesn't rain Friday. Is what I'm really hoping. All right, see you later, Michael Jones. So I got a new desk yesterday too. Show it to you guys. I got this new desk right here. Uh, back here in my office. So I got that. It says it's supposed to hold 6,600 pounds. I, I, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what it says. But uh, it's a phenolic, like, plastic top. I think it's like... Uh, I don't know, it's like a solid plastic top, but it's 30 inches by 72 by 36, which is pretty nice. Uh, I do enjoy it. It's a lot better out here in the streets, you know? <sighs> yeah, I'm wishing Mountain Dew would sponsor me too, you know? I get a whole bunch of, uh, I get a whole bunch of emails all the time for people trying to send me stuff. It's a lot of these Chinese companies. Like, uh, these people had the copy of the Snap-on work lights. I was like, yeah, negative. I'm not into that. No, thank you. But anyway, get back to this desk. So, uh, I don't know. I, I have a big complaint, okay? Um, I don't know if you guys have ever ordered anything from Home Depot and... Home Depot has a lot of shit, but they order it and want to ship it to the store for free. And, you know, like, yeah, okay, send it to the store, all right? Why is it every time you go in there, okay, uh, they, A, you get, you get an email or a fucking text message that says your thing has arrived. So you go up there, you sign up. Why is it? that the person in the shipping and receiving place is the biggest dumbass that they have in the entire store running a forklift. Like, I went back there, I looked at this fucking thing, okay? I said, hey, let's, I'm gonna back my truck over to door number four, okay? It's a dock delivery door. We have to lift it up two inches. You know what I'm saying? They have to call the manager back, Wendell, okay? Wendell comes back there, all right, he's like, sir, you can't be back here. I said, listen, Wendell, okay, why do we want to put this thing on the pallet, drive it all the way out with two stupid fucks in the front flagging all the way out to the front of the store when I'm right over here at the dock door, we have to lift it up two inches and slide it right in. Like, what the fuck? Let's work smarter, not harder, Wendell, okay? And I'm like... Dude, I just put a fucking 500-pound shop press together by my fucking self, okay, with a bobcat. You know how jerky that is with solid rubber tires, okay, and you're trying to lift up. I was like, Wendell, I can drive this forklift better than this fucking retard you got on the goddamn thing. Go get the thing, cut it off the fucking pallet, I'm going to lift it up. It weighs 200 pounds. But no... You want to go, your polys, policies and procedures get rid of fucking getting actual work done. And here's another question, Wendell. Why does it take 40 fucking goddamn minutes to figure out how in the hell to load this? You know what I'm saying? Like, I got shit to do. 
Okay, let's fucking think it out. So if anybody would like to write an end, end a fucking email to Home Depot and say that their fucking Lodem system fucking is stupid, let me know. Because I will co-sign on that, you know what I'm saying? Fucking dumb. You know, like I went there to get that Husky toolbox, okay? Same thing, on a fucking pallet. I said, uh, it's got wheels on it. Let's take it off the pallet. And again, we're going to fucking load it off your dock because it makes sense, okay? But no, you know what I'm saying? You're like, well, sir, you can't be back here. We are driving forklifts. I'm like, dude, I've been around heavy equipment, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not scared of this thing. I, I pulled the wires on a goddamn... 10,000 horsepower bomb and stood this far away from it. And I did it for fucking years. Pull the wire. Pow. You know what I'm saying? If it blew up, it was going to kill me. Okay. But I, I'm not scared of it. When do I know how to walk around when the goddamn thing is in reverse? Okay. I'm not the rest of the waterheads you got working here. You know, it, it, it's, it's fucking, I get frustrated with them. So I don't think that I'm doing any more ordering from Home Depot and having it shipped to the store. I'm pretty much fucking burnt out on that. Uh, you know, it's a complete clusterfuck every time you go in there. Uh, you know, fucking dumb. <laughs> yeah, JC, that's you. I've been a goddamn, you know, I'm about getting work done. Okay, Wendell, you know, 40 goddamn minutes you're standing there while they move nine other boxes with their fucking forklift. Like, dude, get this hunk of shit out of the fucking way. They probably do all wear helmets. But that's just my little, my little... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, like, oh. That's my Home Depot rant, because I'm going to tell you, I, I get absolutely, I'm, it, it's fucking ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. You know, like people, we got work to do, you know what I'm saying? I am not a 60 year, I don't know how in the hell, think about it if you're a construction person and you're trying to build a house and you order shit from Home Depot. You know how fucked that's got to be? That adds nine months to your house building project. I guarantee it. Because these guys couldn't get shit done. Shit done. <laughs> you know, dumb. I'm going to tell you. If I was a Home Depot manager, I would probably be the manager of the year in under six months. They'd be like, how do you get so much shit done? I'd be like, well, I fired all the waterheads that you had here before, and I got real people. Yes, my payroll was outrageous, but we get shit done over here, okay? We work. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, you know, we don't worry about your policies and procedures too much. We work about this guy needs to get this loaded in under two minutes, okay? How in the fuck can we do that? Not, you know, let's talk about fucking, you're not allowed here in the back area. Dumb. Because I just don't understand how Home Depot got that big. How did it become that big of a company? What it tells me is that this country is filled with a lot of waterheads that go in there. Okay? You know, I like the mom and pop hardware store where you go in there and there's a guy about 79 years old and he's got like a whole back brace and suspenders on and his glasses are real low and you hand him something that he probably hasn't seen since 1970 and he goes, yeah, I got that. And he goes back in the back room. He brings you back there. There's an old wooden box. He pulls one out of the fucking thing and matches it up. That, 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 where's that guy? Where, what happened to those stores? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Because Home Depot wouldn't hire that guy, you know, that knows the knows the difference between a 916 bolt and a goddamn 10 millimeter metric bolt. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jesus, fuck. I think that should be on the test. But what do I know? But anyway, that's my new desk. This desk is pretty nice. It's made by Kennedy. And, uh, you know, Nick, did you get the job? Probably because you were overqualified. You know what I'm saying? Because you you were a, a, a 
Yeah, you were overqualified. <laughs> yeah. My local hardware store could have got me this workbench at this price. I would have bought it there. But, you know, <clears throat> I like this. I like this, uh, what I call like a desk. It's really like an editing area and uh, something just in the air conditioning, you know. No, Wendell did not have two different type of shoes on. He did have dress shoes on. Like, motherfucker, put on some goddamn gym shoes. You're walking around here and some fucking loafers, okay? The fuck? Ridiculous. So, no more ordering and having it shipped to store for me at Home Depot. You know, because I want to ask them, what do you have? You know, what do you have here? Okay, are you headed over to 75? Uh, yeah. Ridiculous. So, just for a warning. Yeah. Yeah, luckily my wife wasn't with me or she would have yelled at me like, stop being an asshole. You know. Yeah, I know, but Home Depot, they don't stock anything. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't stock, they don't have anything. You know, like if you want something weird, they ain't got it. You have to order it. <laughs> yeah, Marco, we're not shipping it to the store anymore. We're going to ship it to the shop. That way, another guy comes, okay, and, uh, goes over to whatever. Yeah, he was ready to go to church. That's that that's true. All right, let's see here. Something, you know. Ugh. Let's see what we got here. Oh, did you order your fool? Yeah, you were running through Cincinnati. I got a I got a lot of trucks all over every other place, uh, to be honest with you. is what the driver just texted me. He's on his way to 75. All right. Ah, uh, shit. What do I want to do? Yeah, JC, hold on here. Let me get back to, uh, let me get back to, goddamn the thing here. I'm trying to do... A whole bunch of stuff here at one time and dispatch and oh when my drivers say oh what'd you do all today today justin uh you know really nothing uh you know hung out uh did some shit like that you know it's kind of you know this is an everyday occurrence here uh you have to uh Let's see here. Do, 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 do. We want to put this one. That's that's good. All right. You know, everyday incurrence. Yeah, JC, that is that is uh, that is close. Hey, I'm gonna tell you. I ordered a ladder from Lowe's, and their online shipping thing. Uh, w was a lot better than Home Depot's. The guy had it sitting out there in front ready for me and all that stuff. Uh, Snap-on does not have a lifetime electric tool warranty, David. Uh, they have a two-year warranty, 
which is uh, kind of, it's, it's wishy-washy. I'm not going to say it's the greatest. I'm not going to say it's the worst. But most of the time, every time you send something back, guess what? You, you, it was 80 bucks. 80 bucks. Yeah. Uh, the only time that I only get one meal a day for my wife, and that's dinner. I, she couldn't make me. She won't make me lunch. You know, yeah, the rant's pretty much over. I'm pretty much burnt out on that. Oh, that sucks. Uh, I only usually eat once a day. I know that doesn't sound good, but... Uh, I have a thing that as long as like I'm working and doing something, I will not stop a project to eat. I will wait till I get the project done or come to a good stopping point. I won't like be halfway through something and then uh, fucking stop and go get lunch. That's, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna finish what I gotta do and then we'll go eat. It's just a thing. You know, you got to finish a project. <sighs> yeah, Marco, I don't know. It's just, it's, uh, my mom taught me that. Like, ever since we were kids, she would always make us completely finish the project or get everything done that we had to do. And uh, then we could either play or have a good time, but uh, we'd have to work, you know, you have to get your jobs done first, then you can either A, eat, or do anything like that. Thank you, Philip. Uh, a, the light for your hutches, uh, you might be able to find some like strip LED lighting or something pretty cheap, uh, but uh, I've never found anything else. Uh, the truck with the cereal bowl, um, I have the money to fix it. Uh, I am going to order the hood uh, in, in the off season. I am not going to take the truck out for a couple days uh, while we're in the busy stretch here. Once it gets to December, January, somewhere in there, I will order a hood and have it put on there. You know? But it's fine right now. If we had some heavy-duty foam, we could put it in there. Hey, Grace, or I guess you have a picture of Marco. Man, that's doing some, that's, yeah, I mean, that's doing some, uh, you're doing some high-grade troll in there. I mean, that's, that's undercover troll work right there. I mean, I guess if you like your new picture, I guess that's more, uh, you know, that's probably a, a good thing. Yeah, Chris, it just makes better sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to take, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're on the downward stretch of this, uh, fucking season. So we're not going to get too worked up on, uh, do, doing stuff, you know, like if I can't fix it here, it's going to get fixed in December, basically is what it's going to be. Uh, Anthony Davis, let's, let's fucking talk about the goddamn seven axle dump truck. Okay. It's officially at the tarp place today. It is supposed to be at my dealership Friday. Oh, it's you, Marco. It's supposed to be at the dealership Friday. Now we're going to the owner of Arm, uh, I, he told me that it would be done, it would be at the dealership Friday. So we're going to see what that happens. You know, 
Uh, but the truck that I got to replace the Western Star, now let's let's run through uh, this seven axle fucking timeline here, okay? And then we're gonna run through the truck that was uh, built 30 days after that one, okay? So the seven axle dump truck arrived at arms facility, okay, uh, July 24th, all right? It is now... September 20th, we'll fucking call it. Uh, okay. Now, there was a truck, there's a six-axle dump truck that showed up there uh, Tuesday of last week. Okay. Uh, that one is going to be done Monday afternoon. Okay, so a week and a half or a week to put a body on. It'll be at the dealership Tuesday. They already said yes. Now, now the seven axle has been there since July 24th and two months and they started putting axles on it last week and it just now got to the tarp place this morning. So I don't know how to explain that timeline, but it is royally fucked. Uh, I told Bob that, uh, you know, if I build another seven seven axle uh peter built's gonna have to put the lift axles on it or we're gonna have to take it somewhere else to get lift axles put on it but uh, i i just said two months to put four fucking lift axles on come on come on come on but uh that's the timeline so uh i have a feeling i'll be going up there i told him i need it by monday morning like monday morning this thing has to go to work okay if the, if i don't have it by monday morning somebody owes me money for the month and a half that i've paid for this fucking thing i want my insurance money and i want my fucking first payment money okay and we're at eighty five hundred dollars on that two items so if the truck ain't if I'm not, if Nick is not driving that motherfucker Monday morning, a motherfucker better write me a check Tuesday for 8,500 bucks. And I better have the truck Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah, no, no. Monday is the cutoff day. Bob already knows. I'm fucking pissed. You know, I told him to get me the telephone number of the owner of the company and I will call that motherfucker on his boat and say, you better dock that motherfucker and get over there and have some monkeys fucking finish this thing up because I'll be there in four hours. It better be done, you know, or under four hours. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming to get it. So... We're hoping. Hoping. Oh, I'd get my 8500 bucks If they want to do... Yeah, I'm picking it up in Finley. I'm picking it up in... I'm supposed to pick it up in Finley tomorrow. Or Saturday morning, I think, is going to get pushed back to. Which I said Saturday's fine. I'll be up there at 7. Bob will meet me there. Hand me my temporary tag. And I'm uh, rolling down the road. It'll be, I'll be at the dealership less than five minutes. I should go up and pick the damn thing up. But I, the problem is, uh, I have nobody to drive me up there to drive back. Because our iPhones come tomorrow and Brittany's got to pick those up. Well, JC, if it's there, I'll, t I'll tell him, like, JC's there. Give it to him, and I'll be up to get it. Uh, George, uh, knock on wood, the wheel seals are holding. I checked yesterday. They held. I will check again tonight, and uh, we're going to see if uh, they're leaking or not. But I'm praying to God. Uh, I'm praying to God we're good. I'm getting two more. George, I might need you. Uh, might need you Sunday. We gotta put. We might have to put those 
all the fucking lights on that truck if I get it. Oh, you're in class? Cool. Ask if they want me to, you know, go over the curriculum. But right now the wheel seals are, I think we're on the, I think we're on the winning battle of that fucking deal. I'm praying. I think those national seals with the Loctite is uh, going to fix us. George is the truck mechanic. His name is George. That was a whole nother disaster. George could tell you, uh, we couldn't, you know, something, I think something's wrong with the hubs, but we got it fixed because I ask, uh, I ask, uh, shit. I asked Peterbilt if they had any service announcements about the hubs being too short, and they said no. Or they couldn't find any. Which, you know, a hub could fall out and hit him in the face. Uh, you know, and uh, they wouldn't know the difference. Yeah, it's just like, it's like uh, where they got the race... And how far the seal pushes in. Here, I'll go show you what we did. Okay. So a lot of you guys, this is the factory wheel seal, okay? It's a Conmet, I think is C-O-N-M-E-T, okay? This is the wheel seal, and it's got this rubber out here over the lining. Now, the problem is, is that when you push this into the, into the hub, the hub was only coming to about the third notch, maybe. And then what happens is, is back here on the rest of the spindle, I would say, George, what was it there? There's about a finger's width worth of uh, extra space back here. Like this could not go back on. Or this would not ride up against the backing plate that helps hold it on. So what would happen is, is that everything would get hot and this seal, by turning would walk out okay it would just walk out like this so what we did is i got this type of seal and you can see it's a step seal and what i did is i cleaned this real good and you can see that this one goes in about it goes in a little bit it's the same height seal but how this one goes in um it went down in there just a little bit farther and it doesn't have this rubber out here. So I coated this with red Loctite and then we pounded this down in there with the driver. You know, they don't make a driver for this. They said use a two by four. That's, that's what Peter Bill told me. But I bought a driver for this one and uh, this seal seems to be doing a lot better. But that's what happened to the, to the shit. It was just not, it was not 100% right. And, uh, you know, like, this seal, like, when you push this, when you push this in, it just didn't feel like it locked in there like it was supposed to. You know, and you could Loctite the shit all of this out of there. Yeah, that's what they said. Just beat it in with a 2 by 4 I said, is there a driver for this? No. I'm like, fuck. So, you know, I, you know, it's like I've replaced a wheel seal before and I did it three weekends in a row. And finally I got so pissed off. I called George just to see if I was doing something wrong. I'm like, you know, like this is fucked up. And, uh, when George came down, he said the same thing. He's like, dude, this, this something's fucked here. Like, when we started looking at it, we think the hubs were machined wrong and somebody just slapped them on there. But 
if it leaks again, I got to get different hubs because it's not the seals. It's not how we're putting them in. It's got to be something to do with the spindles or the, the hub probably is the biggest fucking problem. You know, because the Peterbilt Service Department is like, well, we'll see if we can get that covered under warranty. You'll see? Ah, okay. Uh, you know, what does that mean? Yeah, that's what we'd have to do. Oh, there you go. No, it's not, it's not right at all, but we got it, we got it to where you can drive it without blowing the wheel seals out of it. You know, whoa, this thing is nice. Yeah, we got it, we got it under control. But uh, it's definitely like it needed to be, to fit this seal, it needed to be, you know, instead of being at the third notch, it needs to come all the way up here, and I think it would get it. Oh, she's giving you the look, all right. Uh, I don't know if I'd put a programmer on the street beast. I haven't figured out yet. I haven't figured that out. Haven't really thought about it. Well, there you go, Nick. You're buying a, a Kenworth. Good luck. You know, see you later, JC. Good luck. You know, that's all I can tell you. You know, hope everything goes well and you got a good plan. But, uh, just remember this, uh, Sometimes I make it look easy. Uh, the struggle is real out here, okay? The struggle is really real. Uh, you know, it's not, uh, it's not all like uh, cash and checks and, you know, all that shit. There's a lot of work that comes to owning trucks. This is not for uh, the weak-hearted. You know, I wish you all the best, Nick, you know. Yeah, you could push this in by hand. Uh, I wish you all the luck, Nick. You know, wish you all the luck. You know, you'll probably be like me. Three wheel seals, three weekends. There goes your whole weekend. Because you're pulling your hair out going, what in the fuck is this shit? <clears throat> but, you know, that's part of life. Well, it don't matter if it's not a regular dump truck, if you're pulling a dump bucket. I'm going to tell you this. If it has tits or wheels, it's going to give you problems. Okay? Just remember that piece of advice. It don't matter what it is. If it has tits and wheels, eventually, you know, things are going to happen. Just let you know. Yeah, you're pulling a dump, but you're pulling a dump trailer. I, I get it. <sighs> like I said, you know, if it's a frameless, always dump that on level ground or it will go over. Especially if you're hauling wet dirt and that shit, or even gravel will get kind of fucked up. Hey, what's going on? Ugh. Jesus. Took all day to upload three videos, man. No, I'm not. Well, I am tired. I had to get up this morning and come in and fix the tarp. Uh, that was a pain in the ass. You know, uh, it blew the uh, circuit breaker on the tarp, which it took me, I don't know, an hour to figure that out. But, you know, we got it figured out.
another one. Yeah, all the trucks are out hauling now. Uh, shit, yesterday, day shift didn't get over till, uh, fucking, uh, one truck got back here at 930. Uh, no, I'm probably not gonna buy, uh, another Western Star. You know, because you don't want to have one oddball in the fleet. No, we're, uh, the actual, the hours have picked up here uh, pretty late. Like, I looked last night, all the night shift guys got 10 hours, so that's good. So that was 50 hours net last night, so. <clears throat> one day shift dude had 13. Ah. Uh, Hopefully Saturday, and then another one Monday or Tuesday is uh, what we got going on. Oh, man. Get ash all over the fuck place. Uh, they're all the same color. All the same color. I'm probably going to stay with that color. I'd like to maybe... So fingers crossed. Finger, yes. Yes. Fingers crossed. Uh, I'm going to drive one and Nick's going to drive the other. And then we're going to move some drivers around in trucks. But no, I have enough drivers now. Uh, I'm not going to hire another day shift guy. If I have one truck sitting during the day, that's fine. And two at night, I'm okay with that. Uh... But we should have enough for uh, everybody to be there for a while. Yeah, the fleet is going to look pretty good rolling down the street. And then I'm thinking about ordering a quad axle for next year, just one truck. I can order one. I just, you know, they've... Uh, I've got a really good relationship with uh, Northern Ohio Peterbilt. I'm going to stay with them. Uh, I really trust Bob. And, uh, you know, I thought I got all these big trucks. It would be nice to have one small one to kind of do some dirt and demolition work. These bigger trucks just get kind of, you know, hard to get into places and stuff like that. And one company keeps asking for a smaller truck, so. Figured if they can work one big one and one small one, we'll be okay. And then if you have, like, a dirt job, you can rotate some trucks around and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, when I bought, I will get a fleet discount. You said, brother, what's going on, George? Uh, just a one company wants a quad axle for the kind of work that they do. They get into tighter areas and stuff like that. I'm like, dude, Nick can get that seven axle in any place you can get a quad axle in. I guarantee it. I said, don't worry about it. Um, but you know, like I said, George, if you, it might be Sunday. If you have time to come and you're the you're the electrical expert, we can wire up those uh, breather lights. The max Mountain Dews that I finished in a day, I couldn't even tell you. I couldn't even tell you. Probably ten would be the most I've ever had in one day, maybe. No, that's a truck with two drops. So I have two drop axles. Real small little truck. Please don't do 10 again. What do you mean? I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna order 10. I ordered five this year. I didn't take one of them. 
Uh, but I chose to take this. Uh, oh, Mountain Dews in a day. Yeah. Yeah, I got to cut that back. I asked for Christmas. I'm asking for a Yeti, the big Rambler, the 64 ounce Rambler. Uh, I told my wife to get me a couple of those so I can make sweet tea at home and bring that. I think I'm more addicted to sugar than anything else. You know, I'm, I guess I would be considered a sugar junkie. Uh, you know, I like the Yeti stuff. There's just certain things that I don't like the taste of. Like, I'm going to tell you, the most disgusting thing you could ever put in your mouth is DeSante bottled water. That shit tastes like cat piss. You know, I'm like, what the fuck? This shit tastes, it's got a, I don't know what the fuck they do to it. It just tastes, that's, you know, they say that, you know, water is, doesn't have a taste. Bullshit. Bullshit. It fucking, that DeSante fucking tastes like ass. Yeah, DeSante, I I wouldn't even pour that on my I wouldn't even pour that on my grass. I would afraid it would die. You know? Like Jesus Lord, this shit's nasty. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. I've never had arrowhead. Alright, that's a good one. Desanti is not good. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll do some more repair videos when I get time. The reason that I haven't done very many repair videos lately is it's just because we don't have, I don't have a lot of time. Like, uh, how can I explain this? Like, uh, you, uh, I come in, the trucks come in uh, so late that it's like I got to fix stuff. And then, uh, I, I gotta, I gotta fix the stuff in like under 10 minutes, you know, 10, 20 minutes. You only have so much time. <laughs> so you don't want to be, you know, dragging out the camera and explaining what's going on and all that bullshit when you're trying to fucking, yeah, it takes five times as long. Yeah, I got four of them sitting over here. I got to do that Patreon giveaway. I've been waiting on that ratchet from Bobby Salvadross. And I was going to combine it all in one and just shoot one video and send it out. Oh, you'll have a video out? Uh, I, <coughs> I shot a video on mine. <coughs> They'll hit Patreon. Uh in the next couple days. Yeah, you're right, Darren. I mean, it takes a long time, so it's got to be like, you know, when I got time to focus on fixing the thing and doing all that, I will, uh, I will, you know, do more repair videos. It's not a, it's just also finding the motivation sometimes to shoot videos. You know, I've shot so many videos, it's kind of like, you know, you just get a little burnt out on it. You know, like, you're like, ah, oh, shit. You know, like, I gotta film this video and then I gotta take 30 or 40 minutes worth of footage and edit it down, that takes time. And, uh, you know, he, it just, it's, uh, you know, then when you're trying to, when I'm so busy, you know, like, look, last Sunday I washed five trucks. It took me 10 hours. 
I was here 10 hours to get them looking really nice, you know? And so it's like, I mean, nobody wants to see a 10 hour video of me washing trucks. You know, I mean, it just takes a long fucking time. You know, because you got to get all the shit off. You know, I don't understand, you know, how in the hell we drive through so many fucking mud puddles. And, you know, like we just, you know. <sighs> you know, yeah, I mean, they're shined up. I'm not going to lie to you. They look good. But then, you know, what happens? It rains. It's rained every Monday morning here. So it's like, shit. But I got to get the trucks clean or... You know, they won't get to the truck wash because, you know, the day shift guys won't take it because they say, well, the night shift guys don't take it. I'm like, well, they're fucking closed. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not driving all the way to Walton, Kentucky to the fucking streak and beacon at fucking two o'clock in the fucking morning. You know? You know, like, Jesus Christ, think about it. It's just... You know, it takes, everything takes a long, long time. And I don't have a lot of time right now. Yeah, probably. Hey, a video checklist procedure would be nice. What is that, Marco? I can talk about, like, a checklist procedure. That's what I need to do. I need to break down, like, how you drive a dump truck. You know, like, and what you have to do why you're on your shift. That would be great. No, uh, Tim, I wish we could make it through one day. Yeah, Marco, that, that's what needs to happen. I wish we could make it through one day without tearing something up, but nope. If it's not like you get one truck ready to where like, okay, you know, then the guy will run over, you know, will run over a nail. Then they get a flat tire and they don't know how to put a tire plug in. When I've showed every one of them how to do it, nobody will do it. So then I have to come down and fucking put a tire plug in it. And then, uh, what else? There's just a bunch of, a bunch of stuff, you know, like the more trucks you get, the more problems you got. You know, it, it's not like... It's not like they're doing anything wrong. It's just like, fuck, you know. And I think they're used to uh, me doing everything. You know, uh, you know, like they just drop it off and I'm here and I fucking fix everything. So I think people are used to that. And, uh, you know, it kind of is what it is. But, you know, I wish we could go... I wish we could go a week without not doing dumb stuff. No, I've never thought about getting a bed, uh, bed vibrators. They're kind of loud and annoying. Plus they vibrate everything. Like these trucks vibrate enough. We don't need to vibrate any more stuff. Yeah. Well, the dude that I have that's experienced to do that, I keep asking him to do, you know, more and more stuff, but he's just not interested in, uh, you know, he's just not interested in that. So, uh, you know, everybody, I guess they're just like, you know, Justin's here. He'll take care of it. You know, no big deal. You know, I, I really don't know what I really don't know what the correct way of fixing some of the issues are. I don't know the right way without getting everybody mad and without getting me mad. So I just haven't figured that out. But I'm always, I'm always looking for, you know, how to make it better. But Yeah. 
Yeah, well, I mean, if they had a, you know, I, I refuse to put mud flaps on anymore. If they rip mud flaps off, that's on them. I'm not fucking with those no fucking more. No fucking more. I'm not doing it. You know, like, you don't need to tell me you ripped a mud flap off. I don't give a fuck. When you get back, there's 30 of them on the shelf. Put one on. I, I you know, I'm burnt out. Hey, Mommet, or Manit, Manit, or whatever. Yeah, well, <clears throat> I thought about this winter putting on a, having the guys come in and we're going to put on like a training class, like how you change your tire, where everything is at the shop. When you get done, you put it all back away. Uh, you know, this is how you fix some of the tarp issues. Uh, fix it. If you see it getting loose, you know, when you get back to the shop, grab the ladder, tighten it up. Uh, if you, you know, uh, just some other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they probably wouldn't like that. No, I'm just saying, like, I just don't know, like, put on, like, how to fix, you know, like, some guys just aren't mechanical, you know. Uh, it seems like the guy's about under, God, under 30 nowadays just aren't real mechanical. And, like, my wife yells at me all the time because I expect everybody to be like me. Like, you could just look at look at something and know how to fucking fix it. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I got a good idea how this works. And, you know, they just, a lot of people aren't like that. And it's, and, you know, is that my fault or is that their fault? No. I was, uh, I was 35 years old when I started my business. 35. I, well, I was 34 when I bought the truck, but 35 when I finally started driving it. I was 35 years old. Which is probably young, because I did have... <laughs> oh, this was funny. So, uh, this guy Marquez came in. Uh, and, uh, he called me up and he came in, he talked and I said, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and hire you. When do you want to start? You know, you seem like a decent guy. You seem like you want to learn. And actually he's called me the least out of any driver that I have. Couldn't believe it, but he's a really cool dude. I like him for some reason, but, uh, we were talking as he left and he said, uh, Hey, do you have to call somebody? to, uh, you know, approve my hire or anything? And I said, what? He goes, yeah, where's like the older gray haired guy that would, uh, would own this? And I said, uh, well, <clears throat> you're looking at him. He goes, oh, you own all this stuff? I said, yeah. I said, uh, I'm, the, I'm the CEO, uh, janitor, uh, CFO, uh, you know, Vice President, President, uh, there is not a truck driver, mechanic, uh, basically do-all guy, uh, but that's, uh, that's me, you know, so I don't need, uh, you know, I don't need to call anybody to ask. He's like, oh, okay, he goes, I thought that you just kind of ran the place for, like, your dad or grandpa or something like that. I'm like, nope, 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 you're looking at him. He's like, ah, oh, okay. Yeah, Marco, that's kind of, that's pretty much what it is. 
I am 37. I'll be 38 here soon, I think. Yeah, I'm 37. Um, I was a drag race mechanic for 10 years is what I did before this. So I drove a semi truck and then I had a, you know, set up, we set up the awning and then worked on the car and did all that stuff. But that's what I did. Yeah, I did have a full blown nuclear meltdown earlier in the week because Somebody said that they were tired and want to go home, and, uh, you know, I, I completely lost it. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't say that I'm doing the best, but I am managing, you know. We are, we are, we are managing. Yeah, yeah, our trucks run pretty good. Um, that's a little DOT trick. Uh, a lot of times, uh... The DOT will pull you over because the truck doesn't accelerate because, you know, they think it's heavy and then you get pulled over. But if they can't see the load and the truck drives away from them, you know, at a starting line or, you know, whatever, they're not going to pull you over nine times out of ten because they're going to think, well, this guy ain't got really nothing on this thing. It runs good. Oh, no, I just lost it about, you know, like if you only knew, you know, that you know, how many hours I'm here. Like to go get them bolts. You know, that was an hour project. Because I didn't have stainless fasteners here. I didn't order any stainless fasteners. And I thought it would look better with that. Did I cuss? Yeah, I cuss every day. You know, I get full-blown just pissed yeah but <laughs> is the sky blue yeah Yoda dog you could say that I cuss a lot you know the madder I get the more I cuss the more like mother fucks just come out like, I'll be steaming, steaming. Uh, I would, I would love to add on to my, uh, snap-on box. I just don't have the money, uh, to do that. I don't want to invest another 20 grand in a box. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then, you know... I don't like an empty box, so then you got to fill it up with shit, but uh, I would eventually add on to it, yes. I should have went on, I should have went on vacation with my wife, but I would have came back to probably all five trucks broke, and uh, it would have just not been good. Uh, yeah, Enzo's first words will probably be cuss words. You know, I think that he's going to let a motherfucker, a shit, god damn it, motherfucker out, uh, you know, or a, just a whole, like, a fuck, you know, like, what the fuck, uh, sentence out, you know. I kind of, you know, I'm going to go with it. It doesn't bother me. I know. Some people think cussing is like, you know, ignorance and all that stuff. But actually, there's been studies that say people that cuss are some of the smartest individuals, uh, you know, out there. But who knows? Uh, the Western Star, it's not coming at all. That fucker is gone. Gone. I don't know where it is. I bet if you look on Copart, you'll fucking find it. I ain't got it. 
I got my money though. I ain't got that thing. Yeah, I I cuss a lot. They said the cussing people that cuss are usually smart people. So I'm just saying maybe I'm the smartest guy ever to live. I don't know. I think we use cuss words because uh you know, we just can't figure out why everybody else just does what do what they do. I don't know. Yeah, the the truck was fucked. It was just too expensive for the insurance company to fix. Yeah, the Asante water is gross. I don't know how anybody drinks it. Punches dirt stars? I don't know what that is. Yeah, you know, I I don't mind cussing, you know. I don't get offended by it, you know. Yeah, I've seen that Gail Pants talking about fucking differential covers. It's like, I, I pretty much know what's going on in there. I didn't need a clear plastic thing. I, uh, I could pretty much figure out that, you know, the gear picks up the oil and it sprays it everywhere. I pretty much, thank you, Gail. Uh, I pretty much, I knew what that was going on in there. I don't know what dirt stars are. I mean, how many how many of you guys are banned on that channel? Can you leave comments or did they uh you know, uh the testicle toucher group banned everybody? I don't know. I don't watch the channel, so I don't know who can comment on there or not. I'll take you when I start driving a truck. Hopefully, it's in the next couple days because I'm getting pretty bored just sitting around the shop. I need to get out and start shifting gears again and get the quiet time of driving around in the truck back. Uh, yeah, I just don't know what Dirt Stars is. You know, I'll take us on another project, I guess. I'm guessing that's what it is. Yeah, the Astro Stars. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't know if they've banned everybody or whatever, you know. I just don't know what it is. So if somebody could fill me in. Greatly appreciated. Yeah, I mean, I pretty much, I mean, Dirt Cheap is a, Dirt Cheap is a porn star? <laughs> ah, that's fucking funny. Dave, uh, that's a good question. Is the dump truck business better than over the road? Um... In my opinion, I would say uh, local hauling is better than over the road. Um, over the road, the rates are no good. I consider over the road kind of like hauling gravel. Uh, you can make a living at it. You're not gonna get. You're not gonna get ahead in life. You're just gonna make kind of a living. Um, the dump truck business, it varies. One day you might drive 400 miles and burn 150 gallons of fuel or whatever. And then the next day you might drive 30 miles all day and make the same amount of money. So the, the cost is fluctuating. Now the dump truck, it's more upfront cost because the trucks are a lot more expensive and things like that. Uh, but over the road, the reason that I wouldn't do it is because they have the rates beat down so much. 
Uh, you know, they're hauling for the same money as they did in 1970. When in 1970, a brand new Peterbilt cost 35,000 bucks. You know, if that, maybe a little bit more. I, I don't know. And a brand new trailer was what? $7,500 probably, not that much money. So they were hauling for, and fuel was less than 50 cents a gallon. So the rates have not increased, but the expense has. And how could a guy with, let's just say five trucks, compete with a Swift Warner fucking TMC trucking, fucking any of these big national fucking trucking companies? How in the fuck can you compete when a company like Walmart says we need 350 trucks dedicated to this fucking route or to these fucking routes, you know, and then these guys that go out and they bid it and they put it down for just pennies on the dollar, you know what I'm saying? And it doesn't, that's hard to compete with. If I was going to do over the road, I would want to get into heavy equipment moving. Uh, it pays really good. Uh, there's not very many people doing it and all that stuff. You know, yeah, Walmart, uh, well, I'm just using that. Walmart, Home Depot, Coca-Cola, anybody with these huge national accounts, you can't compete with big companies. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it, it's just not going to work. Yeah, that is a good question. I don't know. Uh, what I'd be doing, uh, probably if I was... Oh, man, I don't know. Probably still working on race cars. Oh, you don't see the Western Star on Copart? Maybe somebody bought it, or they haven't put it up there yet. But I thought that's where it would go. I don't know who bought it as salvage. I'm just saying, like... When that over-the-road stuff is very, very, very difficult, you know. So that's why I chose not to go do that. Yeah, specialty hauling pays. Uh, that's... That's what you want to get into, in my opinion. I would do heavy haul stuff. Something rare, hard to move, That that's what you want. Yeah, or a rotator job, that pays pretty good. You know, but other than that, that's really, you know, I like the dump truck game. It's a, it's a lot of hours, but it, it'll eventually... Uh, you know, it'll eventually stop. Yeah, I think everybody does, Nick. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not coon, it's con. C O N. C O N. Con trucking. That's how you gotta that's how you gotta pronounce it. Yeah, but that's what I'd be doing. I'd probably still be working on race cars and stuff like that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, that's probably what I'd be doing. I really would like to, you know, either that or I'd be working somewhere where, like, I could uh, do some R&D work. Like, figure out how to make shit better, I think, would be, that would be interesting to me. Like, kind of work in, like, a, you know, either build, like, test rigs or stuff like that. I'm, I'm into that type of stuff. I'm into building, like, one-off fucking type of shit. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, more gay. That's fucking funny. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I don't think I could work in the, in the oil fields. 
You know, that's fucking funny. Mustache is more gay than him. That, that's fucking great. Yeah, you know, I mean, I don't know what I'd be doing. Something. You know, I probably wouldn't have this YouTube channel. I do. I, I, this was interesting. So a guy on Facebook wrote me and he said, hey, I'm a, I work for Red Bank and uh, my, my 14 year, I live here in Cincinnati and my 14 year old son absolutely, uh, you know, like he loves you. He watches all your videos and stuff. He didn't know if uh, he, he wrote to ask me if there was time where is he could bring us, you know, I guess he's going to surprise his 14 year old kid by coming over and meeting the junkie. And uh, I thought, well, I've never had this happen before. I've never had that ask. And I said, well, usually on the weekends would be the best time. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if your kid wants to come over and meet me, you know, I can hang out with him for about an hour or something like that. Just let me know, you know, what weekend it is. You know, I think he wants to come over this weekend. I know it can't be Saturday. Maybe Sunday afternoon late or something like that he'd come and, you know, I'll talk to him. But I thought that was pretty cool. I've never, you know, like, that's like some kind of weird celebrity shit to me. But, you know, and I can't believe that somebody would want to come and meet me. I'm just, you know, his dad does the same thing. No, I'll be cussing, you know. I mean, they know what they're getting into. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let him... You know, it could be a job for him. Like, hey, just drop him off here every Sunday and uh, I'll fucking, uh, you know, spray. He can spray the shit off. Yeah, you know, I figured I'd teach the kid how to do something. I I just thought it was, it was kind of humbling. My wife asked, like, what the fuck? I was like, yeah, this guy asked, babe. I don't know, you know, like, what am I supposed to do? Be a complete dick and be like, no. Hey, thank you for that super chat from Ireland, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, free labor. No, I mean, I just... His dad owns a truck, too, so it's kind of like... I mean, I guess the kid knows what the the trucking business is. I mean, I, it was kind of humbling. I've never had that happen before, but whatever. We'll try it. You know, I'm sure that people want to come and just, you know talk to me for a little bit and stuff like that, which it's okay. Yeah, I got a bunch of new stuff. There'll be a whole bunch of videos, you know. I'm working on some now. I got them uploaded. <clears throat> now, you won't be doing anything like that, you know. But... If the kid shows an interest, I mean, I'll take somebody under the wing and teach them what I know as long as they're willing to work. Yeah, I can be nice when I want to. <laughs> you know, I'm not a dick all the time. I can be somewhat nice, but, you know, you gotta, you don't want to be too nice because then you get walked on. But I would say, uh, you know, probably about 95% of the time I'm a real asshole. A real asshole. Yeah, I got to do the M12. I I don't know how we're going to measure 250 because 250 to get that type of dry torque out of it, we have to have, fuck, a three-quarter or no, really a five-eighths bolt, which is seven-eighths. That's 240 dry foot-pounds. I guess I could do wet to work at 298. Wow, we could do 5 8 18. That's a big fucking hole. But we can see if we can do it, you know. Uh, you know, again, I ain't got time. Oh, what the fuck? Shit just falls down everywhere. But anyway, uh, I guess I'm going to get off here and uh, get back to doing what I got to do. I got to YouTube up my videos.
you know, I got to get them all ready, you know, tag all my videos. And uh, I haven't been putting the cards in there lately, but doing the, what do you call that shit? I got to put the descriptions in there. And, uh, you know, put a couple hashtags in that motherfucker. Because that seems to be the new thing you do on uh, on YouTube. You hashtag into the description. So I got to figure out how to do that. I haven't done that lately. But anyway, like always, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Glad you watched me bumblefuck my way through building that stupid DEF box. Uh, but we got that all finished. Now all I got to do is be able to put her on the truck there and, uh, you know, fix the two brackets on the truck, and I think we'll be fucking good. But uh, like always, thanks for watching, and I got to fucking go.